Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for January. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now keep in mind that this reading is not for people that are in a happily ever after relationship. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, this reading is not for you. This may or may not resonate as it's for a general population, so keep that in mind. January 2019 for Libra. What does Libra need to know? What do they need to expect? What's going on? Libra. <laughs> well, there's a lack of growth somewhere. I mean, I, I can't, I can't pretty this up, okay? I can't pretty this up. If there's a lack of growth, there's a lack of ambition, there's a lack of drive in something, there's a lack of growth. You may be putting out somebody's fire or somebody may be putting out yours. There's a lack of ambition here. You may feel like you don't have the, the passion or the energy or the drive to do something. Ooh. The Emperor. This is an Aries. Uh, this is a father figure. Um, or a man or a husband or something like that. This is somebody that is very brump dominant, um, controlling. You may, could be dealing with this person. Uh, this person may have given up on you or you may have given up on them. Going on a new journey. Somebody's going on a new journey, okay? Somebody is, is taking a step into the unknown. Starting over. Breaking free, okay? Flying away. Somebody is is starting at zero. After being in a situation that held them back, okay? Somebody has been consciously become consciously aware, okay, through introspection. Now, this is a time of being alone. Maybe this is what you need to do. Maybe you need to change your, change your path. Go within. Now, some, if you have been through a situation that where, where you were being dominated and controlled and you are you start to take a new journey you probably do have to go within you have to go within to to refocus to replan the time of introspection you're probably you've become made aware of something and i think this new awareness has probably taken you taken you um in a new direction okay something has happened that has embarked you on a new journey and you're probably needing to go within to figure out where do I go from here because something has been put out something has been put out somebody's you know fire has been put out and now you have to think about the future so I think yikes um there you are. So, you could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it looks as though you got a Virgo here, you got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you have Taurus, you have Gemini. Um, we have Aries a couple times. These are both Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries. We have Aries three times. So you could be dealing with an Aries that has decided to move on. Okay. Or you've decided to move on. It could be any sign. You, somebody has decided to move on because they've been stuck. Okay. They, they have been stuck and it's like it's, you can't control it. Somebody was clinging to control. 
not wanting this change, but you can't you can't fight change when change is meant to be. Somebody did what was trying to resist the change, and it's come to the point where they can't resist it anymore. This change needed to happen so that they could um, receive the rewards, the blessings that they deserve. So whether it was you or the other person, somebody has a much bigger blessing coming to them. I know that's hard to fathom, but let me just make sure that this is zoomed in. Now, Libra, it looks like you have been held back. You have been. You've been held back. It's like there's been a wedge in the wheel. The wedge that, that has something has been holding you back from unconditional love. Okay, they've been hold something has been holding you back and there's something has been holding you back from receiving some sort of reward, okay? And it looks like you are about to it's like step into the unknown. You're about to take some sort of risk and you're being called to take a risk. You have a you have a new offer coming in. This is a new offer. This is a you could have somebody that is, is has a crush on you or somebody that uh, thinks that you're beautiful or somebody that sees your worth or somebody that really, you know, has been thinking about you. Somebody, it looks to me like somebody has been really, really thinking about you and they're probably going to send you some sort of message that really makes you think even more if you want to take this risk you know I feel like you are being given an opportunity to to let go of something that lost its spark a long time ago or you're 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 being a given an opportunity to start a new journey a brand new journey at zero um, with somebody new you have a new connection coming in here. Now, the Lover's card is a new connection. Somebody that is perfect for you. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect match. But this perfect match, this is brought to you from Cupid. Okay, this perfect match is brought to you from Cupid. But the thing is, is that you're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to allow this person into your life. You know, you, you, but there's negative thinking here. If you think negative, well, that's going to impact the whole thing. You got to think positive. You got to you got to think positive and let your guard down. You know, go with the flow. It looks like things haven't worked out, probably because of control issues. You know, somebody needs to let go of the control issues and just go with the flow. So there is definitely an opportunity for love here, and it's unexpected. I think that you may not even expect this to turn into love. You may feel like, you know, you're thinking negative. You may think that, you know, this isn't love. This isn't going to turn into love. But this person, whoever it is, this is an unexpected choice in love, is, is absolutely perfect for you. Okay? So, and I think that this person is probably going to send you a very playful flirty message or you guys are going to talk it's going to start out as playful and flirty and it probably leads to a, a a beautiful 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 connection but you but you need to allow change and it looks like you you have a hard time with that you need to allow it you need to allow yourself to experience new experiences without bringing the past you can't bring it with you the fool only takes a little bag with very little 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 in the bag you can't take the past experiences with you you know you are worthy you are beautiful you are a goddess you are everything you're everything that you need to be and you need to look at it like that and whoever this person is they see that they see that you are a very beautiful um compassionate opportunity for them. I mean, they really feel like they could they could grow with you, you know? That's how it's it's going to turn into. They're going to feel like, you know, you're perfect for them. That's what I just keep seeing. They think that you're perfect. They do, they do. Um 
whoever this person is, it looks as though they're going to help you to heal. They are going to help you to heal from whatever it is that you're holding on to. Whatever, whatever these control issues are, whatever this is that you're trying to block, they're going to try to help you to heal. This person may be a little bit younger than you, but I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's a blessing. It's a true blessing. Trust me. It is. We have something that has died over here. The, something has died. There's no more spark. There's no more flame. And you can't control it. And I think you may go through a period of seclusion. You may want to isolate yourself. You Maybe you have been isolating yourself or you may feel like, you know, I don't know where I'm going from here. I'm on my own. I'm, I, I don't know what to do. And you're going to be presented with a new opportunity for a partnership. And you may be like, you know, I'm not worthy, but you are worthy. You are worthy. You may be like, you don't trust it. You don't trust it, but you're being called to take a risk. Take a risk. Have faith. Have faith. Change happens for a reason. Now, somebody has been trying to control, you know, wanting, not wanting this change for sure. Somebody has been not wanting this change, but staying in this situation that, that was where there was no growth or no, no more spark or unrequited love or whatever it was has, has kept them, you know, kept them behind, kept them stuck, kept them... You know, not bringing them any good fortune. It's been an unfortunate situation. This is unfortunate. So somebody has been in an, un, there's an, like an unfortunate um, put out, you know. Something, something has been put out, unfortunately. And now you have to find your mental strength and your courage and your confidence that is lacking to allow somebody to love you. Because there's somebody here that sees your worth, they see your beauty, they see you, they see who you are, they see you, they see right inside of you, and they, they do, they do. So, you know, I really feel like you, you need to let this person, this is emotional support. Somebody is going to want to support you emotionally, all right? So, you know, you, I mean, look at this. This person is going to be offering you some emotional support and it looks as though they think that you are, you're, you know, you're the one that they want to grow with. You're beautiful. You're, you're everything. You know, and they see that you're in pain because the Empress deals with pain or they see that you've been in pain or that you've dealt with your pain and, you know, they want, they want to help you. They want to help you to heal from the pain. They want to help you. So, uh, you know, whatever this is, I think there's definitely a new love connection here. It's unexpected. And you're probably going to have to make a choice. Do you want to keep holding on to this dead-end situation that has held you back? You know, whether it's a, whatever it is. I mean, this could be a family member even. I don't know. It could be. You, it's like something is holding you back from a partnership in which you may feel like you can't, but you can. You can, you can, you can, you can. We're going to take these two that flew. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, you know, you're reluctant to move on, right? Why? You're reluctant to move on to a partnership? You have an opportunity for love here. And, you know, maybe this person that left had a better option as well. And you need to look at it from that standpoint. And I know that's painful. I know. I know. Because a hangman doesn't want to deal with pain. And this is painful as well. But you need to realize that sometimes people need to move on for their own good. And you may not want to accept that, you know. And nobody does when the person you love moves on. So I feel like somebody, I think that you both, who, somebody has moved on and is having a hard, you're having a hard time accepting that. I'm going to tell you exactly what this is and some of you aren't going to like it. And that's okay. Somebody has moved on and somebody else doesn't like it. They don't like that this person is no longer, you know, passionately invested in them. 
They're not there anymore. This person is no, not there anymore. This person has moved on to somebody else. And they're happy. They needed to for their own good. Because wherever they were at, there was no growth. They had to move on. They were, however they felt inside. This is bringing, this pain that you have experienced is bringing you a blessing, a true blessing. And you may be reluctant to move on from it, but you have a new beginning here, starting at zero with somebody brand new. And this person is not your usual type. This is somebody completely different, completely opposite. This is a purpose. And it's reversed. Somebody, you know, there's a purpose why people... There's a reason not everybody is meant to stay in your life for, forever. And I'm sorry. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but it is the truth. There's a reason why things don't work out. Because you have something better. You have a bigger blessing. And that's the truth. This person is better suited for you. And whoever this person moved on to up here, they were they that's a better option for them. And I know that you don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. You don't have faith, you don't believe. You know, you may feel like You've lost all faith. You may feel like you, you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in anybody. You don't dare to commit to anybody because this person committed to you at one time and then they left you high and dry. This person had to listen to their inner guide. They had to believe in themselves. They had to follow their own path. You can't invest in something that has no more ability to grow. And that's what happened. I feel like you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting for something that's never coming. You have somebody new. This is not, okay? Usually for me when this card comes up, it says that you think somebody else is the one, but that one isn't the one, somebody else is the one. So you know what I'm saying? You got somebody else. That's what I got to say. That's what this is. And you have to make a choice. Do you keep investing your time and energy into somebody that is not committed to you? They're committed to somebody else? Is that what you're going to do? When you have an opportunity, somebody, you're reluctant to move on to, to new love. When you have somebody here that wants to take care of you, somebody wants to offer you emotional support, somebody that could be a true blessing, somebody that sees your worth, somebody that sees your beauty, come on now. You have a new opportunity for love with a perfect, perfect match. Okay, a perfect match. Somebody much better suited for you. And it's exciting, and it's an, it, you're going to receive an offer, an invitation to, to go out, you know, to have a drink, or go out to dinner. Go. Go. It's a golden opportunity that you can take to the bank. This is something that is a huge opportunity to go down a new path. So Libra, it looks as though you are, somebody's interested in you. And they are probably going to offer you, um, make some sort of, uh, they're going to communicate. They're going to send you a message or they're going to talk to you face to face or whatever. And it could be face to face conversation. This is, Hey, you want to, you want to go do this? You want to go do that? You know, and you end up really liking this person. So it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be a Gemini, could be a Virgo. Could be an Aries. Could uh, could be, a, you know, this is this is a Taurus, but it's reversed now. And some of you could be hanging on to a Taurus that is no longer invested, or an Aries. But you have somebody that's much, much, much better suited. Something solid, long term, stable. I, I think it's it could be. I don't know. It could be anybody. Um, but you're being offered an opportunity for a fresh new start in a new direction, but you have to have faith. And there's lack of faith, okay? You gotta have faith in love, faith in new beginnings, because this is a this is the new beginning card starting at zero. And when you take that leap of faith, when you step over that edge and you face your fears, you face the unknown, it leads you right to a golden opportunity. Success. 
something stable and long term and you're worth it so yeah I feel as though you have a new opportunity for love here it's a connection that you didn't expect this person is nothing like the last person this person is uh, very well it's unexpected it's an unexpected offer of love or, or emotional support now this doesn't even have to be a lover this could be you know somebody that's coming in to offer you emotional support because of some sort of loss okay there's been some sort of loss of something and you know now you need emotional support and somebody is going to be here to give it to you okay but you have to let them in you have to let them in so I feel as though you are there's an exciting new opportunity with somebody that could lead to love really quickly really fast but you're reluctant it looks like you're reluctant to let this person in So yeah, Libra, you have a you have an opportunity to start in a new direction this month. Take the offer, take the offer, take the offer. If you are the Libra male, you have a you have a beautiful woman. You have a beautiful woman that is worthy that you may run into somewhere. You may have your eye on. If you are the Libra female, then this is you. This is absolutely you. Glowing. Beautiful as ever. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. And people people are watching. People are interested. And they, they, they want to have a fresh start with you. They want to start a new journey with you. But you lack that faith. And you, you know, you're, you're holding on to something that is... It looks like the fire has been put out. And it's the very first card. So probably a long time ago. Could have been, could have been instantly though, because this could be instant as well. There could have been an instant put out, you know, somebody left instantly, and you're in shock. You know, so you may need time to heal. This is a card of healing. You may need time to heal before you can move on. But either way, there's somebody here that is wants to help you to heal. Love heals. So there's somebody here that is probably going to come into your life and help you. Let them in. Let them in. No, oh, I gotta grab it. It flew and it landed down. Oh. Slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. And this can be pretty impulsive. So you may, you know, this, you may decide. You may decide. You, I don't know. Maybe this person wants to move fast and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Or this is you needing to slow down because this is, ex this is excitement and this, this person can act without thinking sometimes. So maybe you need to slow down either way. As far as I see it, Libra, you have a new opportunity for love here. This is a, a soulmate connection. This is, this is, I don't believe this is the person that held you back for all this time. It's not. It's not. That person has moved on. And it's time for you to accept the new opportunity. Now, this is a better suitor, and this is a better suitor. You have a better suitor, like, right in front of you. You don't have to go fast. You can take your time. At least give them a chance. Give them a chance. Good luck.